morning, Maddie girl. Good morning. He's a good girl. Give me Paula. Give me Paula. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Maddie. Oh, you're Maddie. Good girl. Good girl. Good morning guys, I am up and it is time to work out. Uh, today, I feel like weightlifting, but I don't feel like I have the motivation in order to push myself through a self-guided workout. So that means I'm gonna be doing Les Mills On Demand Body Pump. I really like it because you can choose how long you want your workout to be. Today I'm going for like a smooth 35 to 45 minutes and then uh, you know they take you through the moves so like I just know for a fact if I was doing bicep curls today I'd get like seven in and be like I don't want to do this so I love body pump because like there's music they're telling you exactly what to do and when to start and stop so it removes me from the equation so instead of me having to like force myself to do these exercises I just gotta follow along to the television so that's what I'm gonna do but I can't do that until I have my zip fish shake. And today we are having, bam, fruit punch. I knew it was gonna be fruit punch. I attracted it to myself. I literally knew this was gonna be fruit punch. Mm -hmm. Thank you, fruit punch. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, guys, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. To exercise, to movement, to getting it in. Mm. Oh, I love fruit punch so much. I love fruit punch so much. Maddie. Hi, Smiling. Hi, Mamil. Milton, you gonna sit? Milton, you gonna sit, Bowie? Milton, sit. Milton, sit. Sit. Milton. Milton, sit. Mm. Sit. Milton, sit. Boy to the buns. You're a good boy sometimes. Good morning, guys. I am done with my workout. It was amazing. It was exactly what I needed. It was someone telling me when to lift a weight and to drop it. And I did it every single time they told me to, okay? As long as I wasn't the one having to tell myself to do it, that was okay. So that was amazing. And now it is time for my morning snack, which is Chilla Wisps. This week, I am tracking my macros. Like, I've already pre-planned what I'm gonna eat. It comes out to roughly 3,000 calories a day. So, like, I'm still pushing carnivore to its limits in terms of how much I eat. Normally, when I'm not eating carnivore, I keep my calories between 2,000 to 2,300. But, like, hey, I'm eating 10 total carbs. I'm gonna see if I can get away with eating a significantly larger amount of food. However, that's still significantly, or I guess, less than the food I was eating during Intuitive Carnivore the first few weeks of August. I was having at least 3,500 calories a day those three weeks, so even now scaling it back to 3,000, I feel like I'm gonna be in a good enough deficit in order for my body to hopefully start to drop a little bit of weight. I mean, I've honestly been maintaining my weight this whole time, and if you're telling me I can eat 3,500 calories a day, and maintain my weight like that's like bodybuilder stuff right there like i will do that for the rest of my life you know what i'm saying but i'm still trying to lose weight that's you know i'm not maintenance yet i'm still trying to lose weight in order to do that i want to lower my calories a little bit so i'm going to 3000 for this week to see how i feel starting off with this and then burgers and brats i cannot wait good morning lisa glad that you're here hi key good, good morning good morning I just said high key and it reminded me of high key, like the cookies and oh, all of the yes. granola and the fun food. So key, you're the live favorite for right now. <laughs> just for reminding me of all of the oh, delicious yes. keto snacks. So 
<laughs> Richard, what are your thoughts on us going to the gym anytime this year? Like, do you see it happening or not happening? Would you like it? Do you think it's like safe if we took the proper precautions? Like, what are your thoughts? Mm, I don't know. I never actually thought about it until just now. <laughs> well, like, the only reason I, I thought know. about it is because I was looking at my budget spreadsheet for the month and I was like, they are taking out that Planet Fitness money, aren't they? Like, we haven't been there in five months. It's like, are we going back in the next six months? Because if we're not, there's no point for them just taking our, our yeah, $20 no, like that, that, you know? I decided to start the day off with these two, I mean, just delicious, amazing brats that my husband grilled for me. We talked about this on the live earlier. I realized like grilled meat is my favorite preparation of meat. And if I could have that all the time, I really wouldn't have a problem being carnivore. Like I found out that my husband is indeed one of those like winter grillers. Like he'll be standing out there in a coat, like flipping like meat on the grill. And I was like, we might really have to do that because if I can have this stuff all year round, I really don't see myself having a problem maintaining a carnivore lifestyle, and I really like it. I mean, the food is so good. Okay, here is my delicious, juicy, oh, amazing bratwurst with all this regular mustard on it. Okay, <sighs> going in for a bite. Mmm, the casing is so snappy and just the, the bratwurst is so delicious and the mustard adds an amazing tang. I mean, it's so delicious and it's so filling. I mean, I get two of these and I get two bacon cheeseburgers and I get an egg loaf. Like what? Like legit, carnivores legit. Okay guys, I am pumped. I have so many reasons to be. Number one, because I have my amazing, super easy egg loaf going in the air fryer. I have about 10 minutes left on that. And that leaves me just enough time to have my two bacon double cheeseburgers and also two extra slices of bacon. Like this is two burger patties. I have some Gouda cheese, some double cheddar cheese and then I have that homemade chipotle mayo that I made last week uh, and then just covered in some hot sauce and then I have two pieces of bacon here so let me just go ahead and dig into one of those mmm mmm okay let me see if I can bite into a burger mmm it's so flavorful and delicious the bacon still has a little bit of that pull to it the cheese is melted the mayo and the hot sauce everything working together like I can't believe I get to eat this and then I get to eat that and then I get dessert after this like houseway that's all I want to know mm. all right the moment of truth needs two more minutes mm. do you know why it needs two more minutes you have grease all over your mouth <laughs> oh, I love you so much. I love you. No, it needs two more minutes because a minute into it, mm -hmm. I was just like, ah, I forgot the sweetener. I was like, don't get me wrong, oh. I love egg loaf, it's delicious, oh, but it needs sweetener. Mm -hmm. So I had to open, <laughs> I had to open. Oh, just now? No, 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 like a minute into it. Okay. So, That's and then I had good. to do the sweetener and mix it around. Yeah. But then clearly that undid some of the, the heat oh. because when I opened it at 23 minutes, when it's normally yes. perfect, 
it was still, still a little yeah, jiggly yeah, bit. It so was, and he started yeah. it off and it tripped a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and then a little trip. So I had I have to squeeze it across the finish line, but it's gonna go. Mm, oh, it's gonna this. go across that this. finish line and it's gonna be delicious. Easy peasy. You're right. Okay, y'all, if this egg loaf just ain't plain beautiful, look at that. You can't tell me that's not a souffle or something, man. That is so gorgeous. Okay, guys, this is my beautifully delicious egg loaf. And yeah, like, you've got to hold it on some sort of, like, towel or something because this dish is hot. And this egg loaf is hot, too. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the steam that comes out. Oh, but there's so much steam. Oh my gosh. Now I did something I've never done before, which is put cake batter extract in the mixture. And I honestly only did that because I stumbled upon the cake batter extract as I was looking for the cinnamon. I was like, oh, oh this is a neat idea. So I'm excited to try it. It's hot, so I gotta give it a second. Oh, can you see the steam? I don't know if you can, but oh my goodness, it is there. I can tell you this, I can smell the cake batter extract and it is making me all the more excited. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. It tastes like cake batter egg loaf. Maybe it just tastes like cake batter. I don't know, that is so good. You definitely need the sweetener. I added some sucralose because carnivore, but like, this is just delicious and it comes out perfectly every time like i'm obsessed what are you here talking about i'm in here talking about my egg uh, i heard can i try some oh now you want to try some i was gonna see what's, okay. what's, this, what's this cake batter all about you taste the cake batterness it's like a cake batter with a French toast consistency. Yes, exactly. Oh. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this, and then I get dessert after this. Yeah. I know. What kind of world do we live in? A carnival world? Oh my Hello, gosh. you're right. Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys, I am finishing off the day with that whipped cream that I make and two cheese sticks. I also thought, like, what if I tried that cake batter in the whipped cream? That would be delicious. So... I might try that next time, but this is just skinny syrup and heavy whipping cream. I got some cheese and I'm going to drink some water and that is going to end my eating window for the day. I am going to have a diet soda and I bought diet cream soda from the store this week because it was on sale. So that's exciting. But let me go ahead and just try this whipped cream for you. Mm. Oh my gosh, just creamy and fluffy and delicious. So we're on our way to Aunt Beverly's house to let her dog BJ out and to feed the ducks. Not pictured, I had a diet soda today, I had a diet Pepsi, and I'm currently chewing a piece of Trident gum. Where's the BJ Bowie? Where's the BJ Bowie? BJ. Yeah guys, if you remember, this is my dining room table. This is the dining room table that I used to have in my house. And then this is the little, I don't even know what this is, and it's not little at all, but this is the thing that I used to have in my living room. There used to be a painting hanging right there. Like, I sold it to my Aunt Beverly because I didn't use it. And I mean, it just looks so much better over here. Like, she is so just creative and stuff like that. It definitely belongs here. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh my god, there's a million ducks out here, babe. Oh, they know what's up. Jeez Louise. There has to literally be over 50 ducks. There they go. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> You're worn out, BJ. You taking a nap next to your teddy? Oh, sweetheart. He's a tired boy. Okay. Night night, bubs. That's my DD bags. <laughs> we have a good time over game games. 
you have a good time over Game Games, DD? And he's off. There goes the other two. Hey, Maddie girl. Oh, I miss you too. I miss my Maddie girl. Everyone, look who it is. They literally love you no matter what you look like. See? They they love you more than me. That is true. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because that's true. I love y'all. Y'all know how they she knows how they gonna act. Auntie duties, you ain't got no kids, you just tell them right. Then you That's all she does. She comes over here, she gets them all riled up, she pumps them full of treats, and then she leaves. Pumps them full of treats. We go for a walk. We have the best time ever. This is my me time. F off. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, guys. Well, I'm about to call it a night. I have this. Meyer diet cream soda that I'm gonna try because it was on sale, so I bought it. Oh, that's good. Mmm. To be honest, it kind of tastes like the cake batter Jordan Skinny Syrup. Oh, wow. I don't know what that is, but I really love that. Like, it doesn't taste like a cream soda I've had in the past, but whatever this flavoring is, I am down, wow. Overall, today was a great day. So much good food. I've learned so many things this month doing carnivore and I'm just really excited to put them into practice moving forward, but like, I'm just really happy and satisfied with like my diet and how everything is going right now. So I'm just gonna stay that way. I hope you are too. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly full days of eating, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, the occasional product review and recipe and video with my amazing and crazy family. Thanks so much for hanging around with us. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next week. Madeline? Maddie's eyes are wild with excitement. Well, I come to check on them. What are we doing? Nothing. Needs two more minutes. Okay. I concur. Oh. Hey, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. All right. Stop okay. saying full sentences. That's actually a good idea. That's why I say stuff. I say stuff because they're a great idea. You a lie. Ha, 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 ha.